All right, it's been a morning of carnage. It's just one of those things where you wake up on a Monday morning and you've got an E25 error code on your dishwasher. And Neff on the manual says that's a pump drainage issue, which is just brilliant. And it's always on a Monday morning when the kids are getting ready to go back to school and everything else. But I'm gonna try and dig into it and kind of fortunately, or well, it's not, I've, it's not fortunate to have this issue, but I've been sent this by Kai Weeks. Uh, last time I did a video about their thermal imaging camera and that that's been, been really useful. This has actually turned up at the perfect moment because I can't see down into the drainage inside the dishwasher, but an articulating bore scope, I should be able to see a little bit better. And this does have a torch on the end of this bore scope apparently. So let's open it up and have a little look. Let's just dig straight into it right here. Use the manual. Well, hopefully we won't need that. Hopefully it's going to be a bit more self-explanatory. Let's get into this. All right, let's get the box away. This is, this is not how I thought this would go, having a look at this. Okay. All right, do I need to charge this or is this gonna be ready to go? And is this waterproof? Hmm, maybe I should quickly check the manual. Be right back. Ah, good news people, IP67. So you can whack this down your drains, no problem at all. Have a look down the shower drain or any other block, pipe blockage that you might have. And it's plenty small enough and with the articulation on the end, you can go look around corners and get your bearings. All right, cool. Well, let's stick it down there, see what we can see. Okay, right, I've turned it on and that's what it looks like at the moment. I'm gonna hit record and hopefully this is all gonna work and you'll be able to see this easily. Oh, we're videoing. So let's try the articulation. I need to get my, which way am I going here? Which direction? Okay, what about if I, I think this is where the outlet is. Or, sorry for my terrible camera work. I'm a newbie with a bore scope. Okay, can we actually, I can't see anything blocking that up. Can I get that? Not looking great, is it? Camera now is a bit wet and a bit murky. Let's give it a little wipe then. Oh, that looks a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna try quickly. I think that, oh yeah, that one pops off. Let's quickly see if that... Pull the clip out. Ah, there we go. Okay, we'll remove that piece. How many more pieces can we remove? Oh, oh, I like. Ah, so this is the pump impeller then. And something there does not look good, does it? There is something jammed in there. Right, I need to get that out. Let's have a little look. Can, can I do it while the camera's there? No. That is a chipped bit of a, hang on, this camera might see it better. Little chip pit, chipped piece of like porcelain or something off a plate or a bowl or something. And that was stopping the impeller turning, right. Now, I can feel with my finger the impeller can turn. So that can pump the drainage water out. Let me show you down there. Lovely job. I'm gonna maybe run some dishwasher cleaner through this whole system. But that is a job well done. The tool came at the right time. I'll try and show you some other uses, some other uh, things. There is one particular part of the house that I wanna use this bore scope on. And um, let me just see, can I turn the, oh, that turns the brightness of the LEDs down, not up. Okay, all right, that's the first sample, winning. 
another good area to use one of these that you can use around the house if you're a keen DIYer or if you want to be a bit more accurate on your heat loss survey and you want to be sure of what type of cavity wall insulation you have this is a good moment to find out so if you look under my cavity you look in my cavity here around the meter box and you'll see there is no insulation around the meter box and actually the Kai Wheat's uh, let's just the Kai Wheat's uh, thermal imaging camera shows me that this uh, part of the wall is lacking a bit of cavity wall insulation. I guess around the meter boxes they just kind of gave up. Maybe they didn't care about the uh, garage. You see a bit of insulation, but it's lacking, isn't it? It is lacking. Anyway, the articulation works lovely to get a good, nice sweep. Those are the underside of the meter boxes. That's the electric one and that's the gas one. The gas one, which may be coming out soon. Watch this space. So these are the DC cables that are running in from the solar. You can see some insulation, but not a lot. Okay, we've got some things to rectify. Okay. Hello. So allegedly the quality of this is 1080p. We'll see, we'll have a look on a screen. I think I've just made the lens all dirty shoving it through walls and stuff it's not going to help the image quality okay probably not a fair chance given it all that contrast and stuff we'll have a little um we'll have a little look on the computer screen at quality and review the footage i mean i've got a couple of other jobs uh, i don't know if i'll show you them though ah yeah quickly while we're here this camera is the perfect size to go through one of these air bricks. He absolutely fits perfectly in through an air brick and then you can see straight into the cavity and you can articulate a bit. Maybe I should have gone through one of the gaps in the middle a bit more. Let me demonstrate the articulation for you. So it can go full, fully back on itself both ways. There you go, and you'll see the see the light on the end. You can adjust the brightness if that's too bright, too much reflection. Yeah, it seems to do all of the things that you can want. The screen is nice and big and clear, as you can see, and it's nice quick easy handheld and the cable on it is way bigger than the bore scopes I've used in the past so should just look at the specs really shouldn't I but it's got to be one and a half meters um, the cable itself yeah I'm impressed actually I should have a quick look at the price point it's got a speaker on it as well charges on yeah USB-C and it looks like it's got a micro SD card inserted in here okay which could make it nice and easy for transfer and stuff yeah I like it this seems like something good for a DIY enthusiast so let's do a little wrap up and conclusion on this Kai Wheats KBA01 the cable length as I guessed was 1.5 meters if I just paid attention and looked at the box the other important specs that you need to know loads of stuff on the back here and if i'd have looked at that it clearly says ip67 it shows the temperature range battery life for 3.5 hours 
and that it has a 70 degree viewing angle on the little lens and the camera diameter is eight millimeters so it shows you the size and the um the diameter of what you can get into now I am not an expert when it comes to bore scopes, and this is the first articulating bore scope I have ever used. I've used a couple of bore scopes before. I've used the cheap one, and I've used the snap-on one, and I've used them for automotive stuff, pulling the spark plugs out, having a look down inside the cylinder, having a look at a seized piston, that sort of stuff, and found them okay, but they were clearly a generation older than this one. Oh my goodness, this 1.5 meters can be a bit unwieldy at some points. Um, the quality on this Kai Weeks is definitely a step up from the old bore scopes I've used in the past. Um, I like the articulating feature because that is something that I really struggle with as a newbie. If you're a seasoned bore scope user, then maybe you're just used to um, being able to rotate it by hand and knowing how to go. The main um, question that I was asking myself is, who would buy this? Who's the target market? And what's the USP? Having a look online, Kai Weeks have really kind of um, priced this aggressively. It's at a good price point when I look at the competition. It's £170, so it's not a cheap tool, and it's not something for just a a casual DIYer, really. It's, it's, it's quite a significant investment. If you are a tradesman and you need to look inside of cavity walls, then I think this is a perfect investment for you. Um, of course, there's going to be loads of other use cases. I can't think of all of them, but I would definitely use one of these uh in a garage as well for automotive uses. You saw me fixing my dishwasher with it, which was absolutely ideal. So uh, thanks to Kaiweets for sending this. They don't have any editorial control. There's no sponsorship. They are not paying me to say anything. Um, I think it's a good product. I like that it. it just comes in a nice zip case as well. That's always handy to chuck in the garage. I'm interested to see now how much I use this over the next six months or so. With their thermal imaging camera, I found that actually I've used one of these way more than I expected. I thought it would just be a kind of gimmick and I'd use it once and I'd be done. But actually I found so many little uses around the house and for jobs and bits and pieces and found it really convenient to just have on the shelf in the garage and grab it. But anyway, I'm waffling now. If this is something that interests you, I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and buy it. And if you've watched this far in the video, then you definitely like it. So give us a thumbs up on YouTube to help this video reach other people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.